Hi everyone, this is CC Tribe of Issachar, and like I promised, I have the Memory Gems Part 2 PowerPoint. And um, the Memory Gems are basically scriptures that is considered worthy of memorizing. So let's get right into this. Memory Gems. What we're going to be going over is Bible famines or famine, uh, great, the Great Commandments. The Ten Commandments and excuses. Make sure to have your Bible out, um, a pen and paper so that you can um, write down precepts. Thank you. Bible Famine, Amos 8, 11, and 12. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. This has already transpired, and we can prove it if we read precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. And I'm about to prove it now. Um, that comes from Isaiah 28 and 10. All right. Bible famine precepts. First Samuel 3 and 1. And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. For more edification, read chapter 2, verse 11 in First Samuel. Psalm 74 and 9. We see not our signs. There is no more any prophet. Neither is there among us any that knoweth how long. Ezekiel 7 and 26, mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest and counsel from the ancient. Also, for more edification about this, um, uh, about Ezekiel 7 and 26, please write down Ezekiel um, chapter 20 verses 1 through 3 and Ezekiel 14, 3 through 6. Com uh, the Great Commandments. I'm supposed to say Matthew, sorry, but Matthew 22 and 37. I mean 22, 37, and 40. All right. Yeshua said unto him, Thou shalt love the, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Let's dig into some precepts to witness the truth of this matter. Commandments, great precepts. This is 2 verse 37. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Deuteronomy 30 and 6, And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart and thy heart of thy seed, to love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that they mayest live. Um, Great Commandment, Precepts 39. Leviticus 19 and 18, Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Matthew 19 and 19. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Mark 12 and 31. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. 
let's get into the Ten Commandments. We're going to be going into Exodus chapter 20, verses 3 through 17. Again, Exodus chapter 20, verses 3 through 17. Exodus 20 and 3, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Exodus 20 and 4, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. 20 and 5, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. 20 and 6, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. 20 and 7, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. 20 and 8, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Ten Commandments continued. Sorry, excuse me. 20 and 9. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. 20 and 10. But the seventh day is a Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. 20 and 11. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother that the days that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. 20 and 13. Thou shalt not kill. 20 and 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. 20 and 15, thou shalt not steal. 20 and 16, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. 20 and 17, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Excuses, Luke. 14 verses 18 through 20. Luke 14 and 18. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee have me excused. Luke 14 and 19, and another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. Luke 14 and 20, and another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. Hi, it's CC, um, Tribe of Visicar. I hope you guys enjoyed that PowerPoint. Um, and remember to like and subscribe and comment, please. I love comments. All right, love you guys.